Complications of the measles are most likely to develop in certain groups of the people including the babies younger than one year and children with the poor diet or children with the weakened immune system such as and those with the leukemia, you know, are the teenagers and adults, you know. So the children who are older than one year and otherwise uh, healthy, you know, have the low risk of developing complications. And the common complications uh, include like diarrhea and vomiting, uh, which may lead to dehydration, you know, and uh, mild ear infection, uh, which can cause uh, earache, you know, or the eye infection like conjunctivitis and inflammation of the uh, voice box, you know, and larynx so, so may have... Uh, uh, problem in speech, you know, for some time, you know, and pneumonia, bronchitis, and uh, crop are the infections of the airways of the lungs that uh, are common, in, you know. Now, the fits caused by the fever, like um, uh, febrile seizures, you know, so it can be developed if uh, the temperature is too high, you know. Uh, so the but if you um, are giving uh, the symptomatic treatment just to uh, control the temperature, you know, so I think it will not happen, you know. Uh, now there are some uh, complications uh, which are not very common, you know, so like uh, liver infections, like hepatitis, you know, or uh, um, like uh, uh, misalignment of the eyes, you know, so uh, like squint, you know, so uh, if the virus affects the nervous system, you know, uh, and uh, infections of the membranes uh, surrounding the brain and the spinal cord, you know, uh, meningitis, you know, so this is a very less um, uh, common complication, you know. And the next thing is yeah, the complications are very rare, you know, uh, but it can happen, you know. So, like uh, serious eye disorders, you know, such as infection of the optic nerve, you know, or vein loss, you know, and uh, heart and nervous system problems, and uh, uh, the fatal brain complications such as uh, subacute sclerosing, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, pencephalitis, you know, so um, uh, which can occur several years after measles, you know, uh, but this is very rare. Uh, you know, so it may happen in 1 in 25,000 cases, you know, so it's very rare. Uh, but the, if uh, uh, someone is pregnant, you know, so um, uh, uh, then the complications that can happen are like miscarriage or stillbirth, you know, and your baby being born uh, prematurely uh, and uh, your baby having low birth weight, you know, so these could happen uh, to the pregnant woman, you know. Uh, so, uh, 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 you should go to your near, uh, nearest uh, emergency room if uh, you are having shortness of breath and uh, sharp chest pain and uh, coughing with blood, you know, and drowsiness, confusion and uh, seizure, you know, so in that case, uh, you should uh, run to the nearest emergency room or call the ambulance, you know, so straight away. Uh, thank you very much and uh, please do not, go, uh, do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos every day. Thank you. Now the next thing is um, uh, how to prevent the measles, you know, so you can avoid uh, catching measles by having the measles, uh, mumps and uh, rubella, there's MMR vaccine, you know, so if the MMR vaccine is not suitable for you, a treatment called a human normal immunoglobulin um, can be used uh, in your case, to, you know, if you're at immediate risk, you know, so, uh, so the first thing is the MMR vaccine, the second thing is uh, the, that uh, HNIG uh, treatment, you know, uh, and uh, these are the two things that uh, by doing this you can um, uh, prevent, you know, uh, and the spread of uh, uh, getting of uh, 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 measles, you know. Uh, uh, but if you are already have the measles, so it's important to reduce the risk of spreading it to others, you know. So avoid the workplace, you know, or if you is a child is school going age, you know, so just uh, don't send him school for a few days, you know, and try to avoid contact with the people who are more vulnerable to infections, you know, such as uh, young children and pregnant women or the elders, you know, uh, so this way you can uh, uh, prevent the spreading to the others. Uh, that's it.